I have been asked to say a few things about the uh, selection of the Nobel Peace Prize laureate for 2009, President Barack Obama. And when the committee selected Obama, and we made the announcement in October 2009, the world was surprised. There was a lot of applause from around the world. There were many who congratulated the, the committee on the wonderful selection. But there was also a great deal of criticism, particularly from many in the United States. We received thousands of letters of protest and the main argument was that how could you give the Nobel Peace Prize to somebody who has been in power for only one year? But if they had studied Alfred Nobel's will, which is the foundation of everything we do, they would have seen that the will mentioned specifically that the prize should go to the person who in the preceding year has done the most for peace. So in this sense, the committee felt that the choice was easy because if you rephrase the question in the way Nobel would have posted it and asked who had done the most for peace in 2009, the committee felt that the answer was quite easy. It must be Barack Obama. He had inspired the world Virtually everybody thought it was impossible for an African-American to be elected president in the United States. But it did happen. And he did set very ambitious goals. He wanted to strengthen the UN. He wanted to strengthen international uh, diplomacy. Uh, he wanted to see uh, disarmament. He presented this, this wonderful vision to all of us. A world without nuclear weapons. He said that maybe we will not get there in my lifetime, but we should try. He started negotiations for peace in the Middle East. He did reach out to Iran and to many, many other countries. He did conclude a very important agreement with Russia about nuclear disarmament or reductions, and he did make a contribution uh, to an agreement for international uh, climate uh, control of the international climate. He may not reach all the goals he is trying to reach, but he is certainly trying and he is providing a wonderful inspiration. Where I come from, Western Europe, you will see that your president, Barack Obama, is by far the most popular politician of anyone. He beats all the local guys in Britain and France and Germany and wherever. We see the dimensions in this story. That this African-American could come from almost nowhere and become president of the United States.